All right, you guys, today I'm gonna check out how to make Y2K glowing effect here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this image size. And from here, I gotta go to the contextual taskbar and click on remove background. And I gotta make a separate background, select a solid, and I gotta make it some light gray, for example, click OK, drag it under the model. Let's select the layer with the model, right click, convert a smart object, and I gotta rename it as model. I'm also gonna press Control J to duplicate it. I'm gonna uncheck the first layer, let's select the second model layer, and I'm gonna double click on it. Let's select color overlay, make it white, click OK, click OK. Let's go to filter, blur, and select motion blur. I'm gonna make the angle horizontal. I'm gonna try it out with three. Distance is 236, click OK. I'm also gonna blur out these sharper lines. So I'm gonna go to the filter again, blur and select Gaussian blur. And I'm gonna decrease the radius, increase it a little bit. There you go, click OK. Now I'm gonna go and activate the top model layer. Select it, press Ctrl J to duplicate. Let's hide the first layer, select the second layer. And let's go to the adjustments, select gradient map, click on it. And I'm gonna go with uh, basic colors. And I'm gonna go and add a new handle here. And here you can recolor it. I'm gonna make it blue, click OK, click OK. We're also gonna need to connect the gradient to the second model layer. So I'm gonna press and hold Alt and click in between the layers with the gradient and the model. So it's gonna show up this icon with the arrow pointing down. Click on it. I'm also gonna change up the background color, make it a little bit more blue, a little bit more darker. Click OK. I'm also gonna double click on the motion blur and increase it a little bit more. There it is, click OK. Now let's select the top model layer. I'm gonna press Ctrl J again to duplicate. Let's select the second one, activate it. And I'm gonna go to the filter, pixelate, and select color halftone. I'm gonna decrease the max radius to five, click OK, and change up the blend mode to overlay. All right, so let's go to the top layer again, press Ctrl J again, let's activate the second layer again. And let's select the layer, change up the blend mode to lighten this time. And we're gonna go to the filter, blur, and select Gaussian Blur. And check this out, with this settings, you're gonna make these metallic areas glowing. So you can adjust it, I'm gonna increase it more, probably gonna try it out with 18, click OK. And now at least let's activate the top layer, select it, and I'm gonna change up the blend mode to screen. Let's go to the filter, blur, select motion blur again, and this time I gotta go with the angle on minus, and I'm gonna decrease the distance, click OK. I'm also gonna make the model a little bit more bluish, so I'm gonna go back to the gradient, click on the gradient. I'm gonna double click on the blue handle and I'm gonna increase the blue, lighten it up, there you go. Click OK, click OK. And I'm gonna click on the top layer, go to the adjustments, select the curves. I'm gonna add some contrast. Now it looks really glowy. And if you wanna go to the extra mile, you can select this layer with the color halftone. I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate, remove the color halftone, drag and drop into the bin, and then make sure that the foreground color is on black and the background color is on white. Let's go to the filter, filter gallery, go to sketch, select halftone pattern. I'm gonna go with these settings, click OK. And then this is how it looks with halftone. And that's it, thanks for watching.